almost none. I mean, we're both nice guys. Um, we're both caring. Um, but, yeah, personality-wise, mechanically, very different people. Um, I would never in my life have a friend like Brian. I would never be in a position where I would hand that much of myself over to another human being. And that's an intrinsic part of who he is as a, as a character. Now, granted, over the course of the series, the whole storyline for him was moving away from that, becoming a, going from being a follower to a leader. And, and so you had to go through that to teach that art. But personality-wise, nothing. He's, he's his own person. I almost can't take credit for Michael's existence. He's on the page and he's his own person. He just shows up. You know, I, I, I think acting's more like channeling than, than it is like a craft. You just get out of the way and these spirits will show up that, it, that he exists somewhere. Michael exists somewhere and it has nothing to do with me. It's just, he's a real person somewhere in the ether. Yeah, actually, um, we, uh, we've we been touring with a band uh, called Oedipus. They've been opening for us and we've been doing a lot of dates in the States and they do very well over here in Europe. So we're planning, uh, based around my shooting schedule for Lab Rats, which is the series I do in, in the States on Disney, um, that when we have a break, probably uh, either Christmas time or in the spring, uh, we'll be out here. We definitely will be coming through Germany. <laughs> um, I, I had a great time uh, shooting the, the the gay the sex scenes with uh, with Hal. You know, despite the fact that he's you know straight and uh, and I'm gay, you know, he it was it was a really great. Uh, uh, we were very compatible. You know, we, we got along very well, and. Uh, uh, you know, it was interesting because people think, oh, that looks like it's a lot of fun, or, but the truth is there's a whole room of people watching you have sex, you know, and, uh, and we're not really having sex, so uh, we really come to it as, as artists, ultimately, you know, to try to create a sense that this is really what's happening, so we, um, we had a lot, a lot of affection between us, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of love between us, you know, as fellow actors, and it made it a really, really cool experience. I will say that sometimes, uh, uh, when it was a little more graphic, uh, it was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. Um, yeah. I, I would like to mention, you know, why I think the the show is it was it is and was as successful as it was, and, and quite honestly, many people are still discovering the show. I get emails from people who are just finding the show for the first time, but I think it was so powerful and successful because it wasn't just entertainment. You know, it, it was it gave voice to the voiceless, and and when when fans come up, I I, I think we're not experiencing what most people experience with fans who are just excited about the story and the show there's a there's a deep experience of appreciation that finally there's an expression for what uh, has been bottled up for so long and so this show becomes very very personal for people in a way that that uh, few things I think ever are I I'm very excited about all of it, uh, about about you know, our, our whole journey with equality. Um, I, I think that you know forward progress is never a straight line. You know it always curves and we go forward and back and eventually we get to where we need to be. And I, you know, I, I actually am one of the people that that has a hundred percent belief that everything is working out perfectly and that we will have all of the. Uh, you know, I believe that we're already equals. You know, we're all equals. And and the laws are just kept catching up with that truth. And it takes, you know, the United States, other, other countries have been able to adopt these equal rights more quickly, I think because they're a little smaller, the countries. The United States is a really large, uh, very diverse uh, uh, country. And, and to, to move to move the country is it's just a slower process. It doesn't it doesn't do a 180. It doesn't just do a quick turn. It's a slow turn. But uh, I think I think our the equality rights are are inevitable. I'm excited. I want to get married someday. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, you know, I, I've been working on a lot of different things. The thing I'm most excited about is I, I'm shooting a film in Prague uh, in the fall. And uh, so I'll be back out here and probably to Germany a good bit. But uh, I can't talk about it too much because they're, uh, uh, they, we're not supposed to be talking about it. But uh, with a really amazing actress um, that I'm getting to work with, and I'm very excited. So I'll be out here for a couple of months um, in the fall. <laughs> um, I mean, I think there's there's certainly aspects of him that uh, there's a lot of of me in there. Um, you know, I think his sense of we have very similar sense of humors. I think, um, and you know, there's a lot of him in terms of his his self loathing or his discomfort that I had to learn to overcome uh, in my own life to to kind of get better. So I think you know maybe I'm a healthier version of <laughs> of him, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, and, and working on him for five years certainly influenced a lot of, of my own life too. So, I think we should ask Peter that. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I mean, there's I, there's mischief in me, and there was in Debbie. I'm I'm not. Debbie, I wish I were that free. But I, uh, I think I, her heart was mine. Uh, some, some of Peter's. Yeah, in sure. It. Yeah, a lot of Peter is in it. The the exaggeration of the faintness is not really Peter. And the fabulous. I mean, he doesn't go around saying that unless he's being funny. But the heart of Emmett was in Peter. The, yeah, and the dark side is in Peter. Oh. <laughs> it's true. It's yeah, true. it's true. It's true. Um, I say all of this with love. I think there's a piece of each of us in the role we play. Do that you, can't, you don't get the job otherwise. And when you're doing something week after week after week, they they start responding to who you are. I mean, there are stories that I used to tell in the, ca you know, in the cafeteria over lunch that ended up becoming Emmett stories. They used to steal from our, from our real lives. I won't tell you which ones, but they used to steal from our real lives and put it on screen.